send you notifications. Notifications will be everything from chat to new listings to live shows to when you make sales and, and if you buy things when that stuff gets shipped. So the notifications are important to have on, but you can tweak them and we'll get to that later. Next is going to ask you, when is your birthday? They want to know how old you are. Um, this is not displayed on your profile. It's just something that they need to verify that you're not 12 years old. This is what how this will come up then. This will be your first look at the app. Okay. And that is the last of my screenshots. So now we'll go back to the actual app. And um, this is where you'll see, okay, this these three lines right here. Open up, open or close your side menu. I'm sorry, I did not turn my phone off. Let me just, no, I do have them, do not disturb. I'm sorry, my mom is calling me. <laughs> I just hung up on my mother, oh my gosh. Uh, I'm sorry, mom. Okay. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> I know. I feel so bad. I'll call her later and I'll just apologize until, <laughs> yes, Kill Bill. I'll just apologize. She's she's a lovely person. She won't be angry at me at all. <laughs> so these uh, three lines here will open up your side menu. And this is what you'll see when <laughs> she's a lovely person. She probably will just say, okay, dear. <laughs> um, this is what you'll see when you first join the uh, district when you you're not in any marketplaces yet you've just installed the app this is brings you to this main screen where they suggest marketplaces and look what it's suggesting and where it's telling you auctions it tells you who's live who's going live today and what's trending there's some things that that uh, they're telling you don't miss out on. Now, District has a lot of marketplaces. This is being recorded. You will be able to find it later on in the Knickknacks Marketplace. There are, you can rewatch them. It's also streaming to Crazy Lamp Lady and the Knickknacks uh, Facebook pages. So you'll be able to rewatch them there. Oh, and mine, Merryweather Market on Facebook. I forgot I streamed it there too. <laughs> um, so District has hundreds of of uh, different marketplaces so you'll be able to find if you have a specific interest like if you're into trading cards or something like that you can find a marketplace that's um that will fit for you so this is all the things that uh district is telling you you can look for now down here hopefully you can see let me put it a little bit closer um down here this brings you to the main page again, this, this page we're looking at. This is your search function. This is going to search all of um, district. These are your private messages so that you can speak with, if you bought something from somebody and you wanna find out when it's shipping or you have questions for sellers or you wanna contact your buyer, you can do that through the chat and I'll show you later on how exactly that works. Here is your shopping cart and here is your profile, okay? So um, over here, let's go back here. This. Uh, is the top marketplaces. So this is where it's gonna show you all of the best, um, most active marketplaces. If you wanna make sure you you join one that's really active. And of course, look, look who's number one, our knickknacks. <laughs> and then this is your um, referral link. So if you wanted to send, uh, if you want to invite somebody, buyers and sellers can do this. Everybody can do this. If you want to invite your friend to come join District 2, they will get $5 off their first purchase of $10 or more by using your code. And um, and uh, it, they use it as a coupon code. So when they're checking out, they put your code in and they get that $5 off. So it's not like you click a link and you automatically have $5 credit. They have to actually use it in the coupon code. So let's go back to the main page. Now we're going to join a, um, no, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's work on our profile, okay? So here's your profile, the button down here, and this will allow you to change your picture, change your name, 
and anything you want to do um, you can see how you look publicly this once it loads there you go and um, you can turn you can um, alter your notifications so that if you want don't want anything going to email you just turn that off nothing nothing I don't want that I don't want that I don't want that you know whatever and you can make it so that you get all of the notifications none of the notifications or some of the notifications you can also alter notifications in the individual chats which I will show you in a little while you can share the app on your social media like Facebook and things like that um, with just that little pop-up screen here is where if you go through and you see something you like you can click the heart to save it for later so you don't have to go looking for it again and this is where you will find all of your likes anything you've ordered and anything you have bid on so that's the likes the orders i don't have anything so <laughs> Um, this is where you will add your payment information and your shipping address. You have to have those filled before you can bid on anything, by the way. I did put a bunch of glass in my buy now if anybody feels like shopping. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> um, but uh, um, if you want to um, bid on things or buy things, you have to have your payment method and your shipping address filled out first. So here is where we're going to alter our profile picture. Right now I have um, this little icon that they automatically give you. And so we're going to change the profile picture. You can choose an image that you already have on your, um, on your device. You can take a selfie or you can just make your own. So let's choose an image you guys are going to see. All of my crazy pictures now. <laughs> So let's pick the one of my socks. <laughs> my son got me some socks that look like Converse sneakers. Um, so that's going to be my picture. Now you guys are all going to know who I am because of the sock picture. <laughs> all right. So that's my that's my new profile picture, and it's going to show up down here right now. It's let's see. I, I it'll refresh when I go back. But if I were to go up here to see how people see me, you'll see that the new picture is right there. Okay. Now we're going to um, the username and the display name. So the username is, hey, come on, be, be serious. Let's put in my name. Okay. Meriwether. All right. <laughs> so, so now I have changed my display name. So now when people look at my profile, instead of it saying Susie Q, it says Meriwether. Now I can change this username too by going back down here to the username. And I can change it from Susie Q. Lou to Mary. Mary Q. Lou. There we go. And that has changed all of my um all of my personal information there that people see. So there's my socks, there's my name Meriwether, and there's my username Mary Q. Lou. And the reason that you may want to, um, to change that is because maybe you want to use, if you're a seller, maybe you want to use your business name. Like on my main account, it says Meriwether Market and then has my name Mary after it. Um, and that helps your buyers find you again, but it also kind of, you know, gives you that, uh, that business appearance. So that's one reason. Or maybe you just change your mind down the road and you don't want to go by that name anymore, you want to change your name, it's very, very easy to do in here. Now, here's a place where you can put your bio. I'm not going to write out a whole bio. I'm going to write hello. Hello. That's where we'll put hello. All right. You can, and that bio is if you, when you click on a listing, after you see the, the listing information, you'll see your seller's bio. Oh, it's my pleasure. And that's where that bio is going to show. So anybody that looks at your profile or looks at one of your listings, if you're a seller, is going to see that bio that, that I just wrote out, that short little bio. Now, this is where you can add all of your social media accounts. You can connect them to your, um, uh, to your district account. I'm sorry, I'm opening a bottle of tea. And I'm trying to do it quietly. <laughs> and I was, I was struggling for a second there. 
Um, so you can you can the you can connect your Twitter, your YouTube, Twitch, Facebook. TikTok, Discord, and your website. And the reason to connect them, especially if you're a seller, is so that you can be you know, like a Snapple commercial. <laughs> Only I don't drink Snapple. That stuff's junk. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, so if you're a seller, you can use the magic comments, which we will get to in another um, on another show. And uh, you so you can advertise basically your you're putting your listing out on these different um, social media accounts for people to easily buy what you have listed here. So it's really nice to have those things um, listed or have those connected. And then of course your email, you can add your phone number. Down here is, these are important, I feel. The help uh, opens up a, um, let me close on my other. Oh boy, I forgot I had all my business stuff open here. Let me just close these. <laughs> we don't need to be showing my accounting and stuff. Okay, there we go. <laughs> all right, <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so um, it opens up this uh, website and you can look at all of the different um, pieces of information about how district works how you join, how you sell, how you start your own marketplace, how you create a listing, what's prohibited. And there's vacation mode. There's how do you get paid? What about the tax? What about buyer and seller protection? All of this is in here. So if you have a question like, um, how do I, how do I get paid? That help function over here is what you want to click on. And that will take you right to where you can find all that information. Um, terms and privacy is their terms of service. That's important too. And then you can join their support chat. And what did that do? That did nothing. That Oh, uh, that might be for, um, actually, I have not clicked that one before. So that shut my app down. Where was I? Oh, I was over here. Okay. Um, there is a support chat. I will take you to it. Uh, you can apply to sell on district. You can delete your account and you can log out. So that this is all in your profile. Okay. And they even ask you, do you want to sell on district? Do you want to get started? Do you want to open your own market? Do you want to join one? So your profile is an important place to learn how to get around on because what did you just say about CEO of information? knowledge of all things and if i can't tell you how to spot it or how it works i'll get back to you promptly <laughs> thank you thank you for the compliment <laughs> so your profile is going to be important that's where you want to look if you can't figure things out if you need to change something this is this is where you look all right so let's go back to the main page now 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 that we've done all of that um how do we join marketplaces and that is really pretty simple. So here we are on the main page. It's showing you my live stream. It's like a hallway of my, of my iPads down there. There's a couple different ways you can find a marketplace. So you can search for it with the search function, or um, you can just scroll down until you find the suggested marketplaces. So we are going to join Knickknacks. And here it is opened up the knickknacks page founded by our very favorite crazy lamp lady and you just want to click this join marketplace that's all you have to do bam i am now in the marketplace under my second name here i am if i wanted to apply to sell i would hit this and it will take you to a form that you fill out um it's important that you read this, that you put your email, that you put your full name, that you put your phone number, let us know what you sell. Now add links to other places you sell. So if you sell um, on other platforms right now, we need the links to those so that we can just check out, you know, what you're selling and how you're doing as a seller. If you've never sold before, say that in there because then what happens is um, that, uh, that Jocelyn will deny it because she'll ask you to email pictures of what 
you want to sell to uh, an email account that I am not going to give out in this live show because because <laughs> I'm not going to do that to Jocelyn. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. See, she gets a lot of applications that just say eBay. And that doesn't help. I mean, if you say that, it's going to get denied. And the denials take longer than the approvals do. So if you really want to get approved as quickly as you can, then make sure you put those links in there. All right. Here's where it says that the commission fee is 10% on all sales. And then there's an additional payment processing fee, which is usually about 2 or 3%. And you can always find that information in that help section that I showed you before. Okay, so then you just click apply once you have everything filled out right and and that's it. And Jocelyn will get your application and it will take um, a little while because there's a lot and and it it there's a lot to approve. There's a lot to deny to request for more information. So it's just it's a lengthy process. Would you like me to yeah I can do that. Okay apply to sell. Here we go. Let's see. So my phone number, I'm not going to put in because I, I don't want that. <laughs> so I sell, one of the main things I sell is vintage glass. And my link to my um, eBay store is STR, SNR, Treasures. Okay. I think that's right. So I put the link to my eBay store in here. I put that I sell vintage glass, my email, my full name. You can put your phone number if you want to, and then apply to sell. All right. You will hear back from Knickknacks soon. Yes, definitely. <laughs> no, I, I would prefer not to get slammed with text messages. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the market. So now we are in knickknacks. Notice it still says apply to sell. Some people say that it says pending. So it could still say apply to sell even after you've applied. All right, so now we are going to move around knickknacks. And the first thing you're going to see is the live shows. This is, shows that this is live right now. And Aprilene is live. Yeah, oh, that, I think that's her first one. Well, we'll have to read into her if she's, or is she, yeah, she's live. Okay. And then it will, if you, um, no, maybe not. So it just shows the ones that are live now. Here's some featured categories. Odd Bird Coffee. Here's some things that are done by Knickknacks artists. That means members uh, are sellers that make their own items. So we have all kinds of artists. Hey, I've been approved. Woohoo! <laughs> you would probably get an email notification, but I turned all my notifications off for this. So, so that it wasn't going ding, ding, ding. Here is Knickknacks Closet because we've got a lot of clothing sellers. And we have jewelry. We have coins and currency. We have ephemera and paper, books and bookends. So these are just featured categories. If you want to look and see um, something special right there in those categories. And then down here, we have all of the Odd Bird Coffee. Pay no attention to the price. It hasn't been released yet. So she puts the price up real high so nobody orders any. And then um, this coffee is coming on April 20th. And it will be back down to its normal uh, it's normal price. Here's our seller spotlight. So all of our sellers um, get will get spotlighted over over time. You know, we do one a week. Let's see. Yeah, that's some really fancy coffee. I'm trying to keep up with um, with the uh, with the chat too. So, oh, Tony, thank you. I'm so glad. There is a handmade, there are handmade categories. Um, the categories are also called tags. So you want, you would want to find the one that suits for your handmade sewing projects. Knickknacks and Whatnot are two different platforms. Whatnot is its own platform. Knickknacks is a marketplace on the district app. So yes, two different. 
<laughs> you might discount the $49,000 to $50,000 coffee. <laughs> All right. So this week, our seller spotlight is Kathy Cav, And this will show you everything that um, she's got listed here that's spotlighted. You can click on that and it'll bring you to her listings here. She's got some super cute things, really pretty stuff, good prices, great pictures. A real treat to scroll through and see all of her. Look at these. Look at how beautiful these are. Italian oil and vinegar. I mean, really nice stuff. Whoops. I got ahead of myself. And then uh, after we pass that, we have the weekly feature. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> we have the weekly feature, which this week is Italy. Um, if you have a shop on Etsy and you don't have anything in it, I would still link to it uh, because your your rating is up there and that's one of the things that we'll want to look look at. Yeah. And and then um, yeah, and then she'll probably uh, reject. Please, if you guys get rejection letters, please read them thoroughly because we're not really just outright rejecting people. We're asking for more information and more photos. So make sure that you read that in its entirety. Don't get upset when you read you've been rejected and just think, oh, it's 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 never gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One rejection out of out of thousands. So yes, unfortunately, right now this app is only for the United States and Canada, but I do know that the district support team is working hard on trying to um, open that up to more countries. And that also is a big project. So it, it might take a little while, but yes, they're definitely working on that. If you don't sell anywhere else, please say that in your application that you have not sold anywhere. The application will go through, Jocelyn will read it over, she'll reject it, but she'll reject it because she'll send you an email address that she wants you to send pictures to. And then she can look at how you take your pictures and uh, what kind of items you have, and then she can approve you after that. So just say in your application, I have not started yet and would like to send pictures, and then she'll send that rejection letter. So here's our weekly feature tour of Italy. Again, if you click this, you'll see all of the items that are have been picked for this. Please understand if you're a seller, um, not everything goes into this category. We kind of curate and pick, and it is uh, updated throughout the week. So keep listing those Italy, um, those items made in Italy, and uh, hopefully you will get into the uh, weekly section. So um, let's see. Let's go. Then I have to go back here. <laughs> All right. So then the rest of the home page is on this, this, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It changes. So it's not going to be static that you're going to see multi-day auctions and then under 20 and then by knickknacks artists and knickknacks closet. It, it does kind of cycle and change. So you'll see different, um, if you notice, these are all the same featured categories that were up at the top earlier. So it will change. Oh, look at that carnival glass. Mm, I love carnival glass. So this is definitely worth scrolling through and seeing if maybe you can find a new mug or maybe a piece to a collection you're looking for, or you have an empty spot on the wall or anything like that. Anything you collect to um, is really worth scrolling through. Now, let's say you want to find one thing. Like I collect Buddhas. All right, wait, uh, let me, let me, I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, if you hit this magnifying lens, you're going to be searching all of district, all of the uh, different marketplaces. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to pause for a drink. But if you go up here to our little three lines, and you click listings, you can search just in knickknacks. So I'm going to put in Buddha because I collect Buddhas. And here are all of the listings. Oops. 
I didn't mean to click on that one. Here are all of the, oh goodness, I might have to make this mine. Um, here are all of the listings with the Buddhas. So that's one way to do it. Now let's say that I want to find uh, all of the listings by one, um, one seller. We're going to use this filter, and this is going to answer your question too, uh, Purple Haze. So here is, we can look for a certain seller. Here's Blind Art Studios. And this will pull up all of the listings by Blind Art Studios. And she has some fabulous pieces, by the way. If you like jewelry, you definitely should check her out. We can also um, untick that. And oops, clear all. There we go. Um, there is a category. No, why am I not seeing it? Oh, here. No, why am I not seeing it? There should be a category somewhere that says ships to me. But for some reason, I don't see that on here. Hmm. But you can also search by categories, the different categories. If you just want to see everything under $20, that is sold by Jenna K. And it is a buy now. Click. And that's all of Jenna K's under $20 buy now um, listings right there. So that filter is really important when you're looking for specific things, specific categories, and specific sellers. Now, I, I'm sorry, I know that there is a function somewhere that says ships to me. And that's great if you're in Canada and you want to see which sellers ship to you. But that may just be on the browser. That might be a browser thing instead of a, let me check my browser real quick. Listings. Yep. Okay. So on the browser, let me show you on my browser over here. I apologize. <laughs> Don't look at the mess. This is my office and it's crazy. On the browser, you can do it. So we're in the listings and here are all of our filters and under shipping, you can see if people ship to you in the US or wherever you live. Uh, uh, free shipping and wait, let me reword. You can look at people that that have free shipping or that ship to you. I am in the U.S. If you're in Canada, that will say Canada. So that's really important for our Canadian shoppers because they'll be able to see which buy which sellers ship to them in Canada. And I really do urge all sellers to ignore the mess, ignore the mess. <laughs> um, I, I urge all sellers to uh, ship to Canada. It's just as easy as shipping domestically. So hi, welcome in. If you do miss it, it's okay because it, it's, um, it's um, been recorded. So it'll be available to play it for a playback here on Knickknacks. Also on Crazy Lamp Lady also on Knickknacks, those two Facebook pages, and also on my uh, Merryweather Market Facebook page. So it should be on all of those. All right, so here is the, now remember we're under this category here where it opens up the main menu. Here are all of the listings again. You can look through everything. We just covered how to do that. Here are all of the scheduled live shows. It's gonna show you who's live right now. Oh, I guess, I guess Aprilene wasn't live. Um, and who's coming, who's coming up? Oh man, my heater just kicked on and all of a sudden it's 10,000 degrees in this room. One second, please. <laughs> Hold please while I turn that infernal contraption off. Oh my goodness. Trying to burn me out guys. Burn me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> it was really clear until the, <laughs> until the earthquake came. So I didn't even feel it. So. That would be a lie. So here's where you can see all of the upcoming live shows. We've got trains. We've got individual shows. Some really fantastic sellers. Our live shows are really popping. It's really building. And it's it's just um, 
really taking off and we have a lot of people we have new people coming getting approved to go live every day so uh, there's always something new and it will show you it only goes so far and then it starts to show you where is it the past shows we have this every tuesday groovy train which is really fun well, I feel like it's showing me a lot more than it used to show me. That's pretty cool. I like that. You can just keep scrolling for days, guys. Days. That's the bullet train. That's going to be fun. Oops. And here is the perfectly imperfect train. That's going to be fun. So, yeah, you can see there's a lot of live shows. Now, the thing about the live shows is we don't have a way to bookmark them just yet. So what I suggest you do is if you go to one of these live shows, let's say you want to bookmark, uh, you want to bookmark um, Jocelyn's, I think you can go in here and add it to your calendar. You can save it as a bookmark. You can save it um, on your Facebook page, like set to private. You can also copy the <clears throat> URL for it and then go over to um, your browser and save it as a bookmark. There is some way to save it in a calendar, I thought, but I don't see that. So live shows for days. You can find all the live shows there. Here's the leaderboard, which tells you leaders in terms of, of uh, money, I think is what it is, or activity anyway. You can see the... Uh, the most active people that are here in the um, marketplace. And then you can see your top sellers also in the Jana K. Look at you. <laughs> yeah. Or just write it down. Yeah. Or you can copy that URL and then go to your Google calendar and put it in the calendar. I do that too. So Jana K. Jana K, you beat out. Jocelyn and Moon Sky, she is rocking it. So here is the list of all of our sellers. This is a good way to look at me, number 17. Woohoo! <laughs> um, this is a good way to find our active and good sellers and to watch, watch the sellers that are down here because a couple weeks ago I was all the way down here. So they're going to be up and coming sellers for sure. This is all of the activity on knickknacks. So this tells you every time somebody joins, every time something gets listed, and every time something gets purchased, you can see what's selling and you can see what's being listed. Look at this listed of Christmas cookies cookbook. Uh oh, I said the word my dog sitting right here. <laughs> Look, Mary Q. Lou joined knickknacks 19 minutes ago. <laughs> All right. So then down here, we're getting into the chats. And this is, um, yeah. oh gosh, my dog usually goes crazy, but she seems to be ignoring me. So that's good. So these are your chats and this is where we're going to get into how to change the individual notifications. Um, this is so our sellers can tell you if they have something on sale or if they have something discounted and you'll see our sellers are really great at talking about how they just started listing, they've marked down some items, they've slashed some prices, and you'll even see certain things are on sale here. They really do a very good job at keeping everybody up to date when they've lowered some prices or they have something special for sale. So that's a great way to keep up with what's going on. Here's the knickknacks chat. This is just basic chat. This is for everybody buyers and sellers alike so that's um that's that and the application status is if you're wondering what's going on with the applications because there have been so many uh that um it it took weeks for people dare i say over a month for people to get approved because when this um, first started when knickknacks first opened we had thousands of people apply all at once i don't know <laughs> it was crazy poor jocelyn has probably gone cross-eyed by now months yes <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> well, you weren't, I mean, in your defense, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. So you can keep up on where, where um, we're at with applications. This is the ID me thread. So if you have something that you aren't sure what it is, you can ask questions here. Somebody just asked if this is a Murano bowl. And I said, yes, it is. Um, if you're looking for something in particular, you can put it in here. This person's looking for a cowbell and this person's looking for some bottles or has some bottles. Oh, this is a seller. She's responding to somebody else. Um, different things that people are looking for. And then our sellers, if they, if they have them, can offer them for sale. So that's a good place if you're looking for something specific. And um, here is the show and tell if you just want to show something off. Like, hey, look what I just got. Now, this is not just for sellers. This is also for buyers. This is a great place to say, hey, I bought this, this item from so-and-so seller, and I want to show you how I have it staged in my house. We would love to see that. So feel free to use show and tell, not just as a seller to show off things you just found, but um, also as a buyer. If you want to show off the things that you have purchased from our sellers, we would love to see them. This is look what I made. And look what I made is for people that make their own items and they can show, look at how cute that little cup is. Oh my gosh. They can show the different things that they're making for sale. There's some weird things in here too. Look at that. That's creative. Um, that's just creative. <laughs> and robots. I mean, we get everything. People just love to show off the stuff that they made. And we have some very, very creative people here. And then um, the handmade market is uh, what we are doing. <laughs> I know. Aren't they great? Oh my gosh. I know. I saw that and I was like, I feel like I need that in my life. <laughs> um, so the handmade market is coming up April, you'll have to tell me when, Jocelyn, because I can't remember off the top of my head. Every fourth Friday on the 26th, thank you. Every fourth Friday, um, we are uh, the entire Knickknacks homepage, so up here, will be geared towards our artists. <laughs> Why won't it go any further? Come on, tablet work with me here. And then my tablet said, nope, I'm tired. All right. The home page will be all of the handmade items that our artists are making. So you're not going to see um, these regular, there we go, spotlight and the weekly feature and stuff. It's just for one day. One day it's going to be all um, handmade. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Moon Sky. She is on it. And she wrote out everything that this entails, what's going to be happening on the 26th in that handmade market. This is Ask District Support. Ask District Support, if you click this, will take you to the District Support chat. They have their own chat here. And um, this is their main District Support. And you can follow this. You can join this uh, marketplace. It's called a marketplace. Um, you can join that so that you always have support at your fingertips. Because now, see, on the side, I, these are the two marketplaces I'm following now. Knickknacks and District Support. So they have a place for you to ask questions. If you're a seller, you can ask. You can, they announce their new updates. You can suggest ideas for new features, you can report a bug, and you can ask engineering if you're having a really technical, you know, detailed technical issue, right? So I suggest um, following this marketplace, jo joining this marketplace too. Just please make sure that the questions you're asking in there are more of the app technical side if you're having a problem with the marketplace like you can't remember how to change your profile or you um, ordered something and uh, it, it hasn't shown up then please ask in um, the knickknacks chat 
did I just no okay all right I got oh okay here's all the see I, I left and came back and it refreshed and now you know why is this acting like it's no okay all right I got a little confused for a second. I haven't looked at it on anything but my Meriwether Market <laughs> um, I, uh, ID in a long time. All right. So, um, yes, this is being recorded. Uh, uh, Black Cat, you can go back and watch the, um, watch the replay. And at the beginning, I did show how I did that. How I, when you, when you click on home, It'll say right here, join marketplace. And that's how you join any marketplace. So any marketplace you find, let's go back to their main page. And let's say that I want to join, come along, iPad, catch up. Let's say that I want to, I want to go, I want to find some fandom. I'm sorry, I think my iPad's getting a little warm and that's why it's, let me turn my lights down a little bit. Maybe that'll help. All right, I want to join Disney Anna. All right, so here, join Marketplace. And then that's going to show up here too. So any Marketplace you want to find, you can find it on the district homepage. All right, now, uh, somebody, <laughs> yeah, Taylor Swift, yes. There is a new Taylor Swift uh, for Swifties, a new Marketplace. <laughs> All right. Hello, Brayden. All right. Now, I know that somebody said, um, what does fandom mean? Uh, any Anything that, that has fans. So Disney has fans. Taylor Swift has fans. Things like that. So anything that has fans is fandom. Um, somebody did ask, okay, how can you, uh, how can you send somebody a message? So if you are a seller, you can't just outright send somebody a message unless they're also a seller or they have bought from you. But if you're a buyer and you're trying to get in touch with a seller, it is super easy to find them. You go to listings and you filter by the seller's name and we're going to look for a hidden house store and click done and we see all of her auctions now oh my gosh i actually have a creamer like this i think i collect cow creamers so that's super cute i got it oh okay <laughs> so you click on one of her listings and when you scroll down here it'll say message seller and that's it and you can send them a message you can send one message um and they have to accept it before you can send more so that's how you can find any seller and send them a message. If you have questions about an item, if you want to, like, maybe they didn't add measurements, you want to know how big it is, you want to make sure it doesn't have any little chips or anything. Um, or if you want to, now, if you want to contact a um, seller that you've bought something from, you go into your profile, you go into your orders. Now, I haven't ordered anything, but your order will pop up here. You click on the order and it'll give you an option to message your seller. <laughs> yeah, I saved it to my display account. <laughs> That's okay though, because later on I'll add it back to my <laughs> to my other one. Yeah, so anytime that you see, and now in my likes, it's going to pop up that that cow creamer is in there. And that is in, in your profile. So super easy to find things. Are there any questions? I feel like I kind of went over everything. Um, I, I went over how to, uh, how to do all of that. Hi, welcome in support. Um, let's see. So let's say, uh, let's, I want to reiterate this. Oh, thank you, Diane. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. My next live is going to be more geared towards sellers about how you can list and all that stuff um, because I'm going to have to... Uh, oh, no. Actually, I just got approved as a seller on my other name, didn't I? <laughs> 
Yes, definitely. I will I will do all of that. I'm going to go through the whole app and teach you guys how to do everything. Um, the only thing I'm going to reiterate again is how you get help when you need help. If you have an issue with, I ordered something, it's been two weeks, it hasn't come. Sometimes that happens when um, something happens in the seller's life like they get very sick or somebody in their family gets very sick or sometimes it's the post office right now the post office is having a lot of slowdowns because of all the severe weather so it can be something like 11 days 12 days before your your package gets there but if you have problems with that yep you can email support support at district.net you can ask for help in our uh knickknacks chat anything like that if you can't figure out how to find something in the next chat oh look somebody had some problems with the earthquake oh boy um you can ask in nick next chat if you're having technical issues you can go over to district support and ask support like why can't i update my phone number why can't i do whatever whatever so support here is wonderful support is so supportive <laughs> they are so on the ball they are so much help they must be completely overwhelmed but they keep up with it it's just really really great um yeah see that would be something that i would ask in uh in the district support like i've already accessed my lives um so why can't i Oh, your lives from your browser. Right, right, right. Your live tools. Yes, you cannot access those from the, I'll show you from the browser. Here is my, this is my main account. So even if I went to my seller dashboard, there is no place over here to um, get to my lives because it's, it just isn't going to work with, um, with the uh, browser or an Android right now. I know they are working very, very hard on it. Oh, I just clicked out of that. Okay. <laughs> but yes, yes, you can watch the lives, but you can't, um, you can't uh, operate the live from a browser. Yes. Yes, please ask questions. And um, so, like I said, I will be doing another show. Let's see. I have, I have um, something I have to do tonight, so I can't do it again today. And then I think I have, uh, I can't even remember when I have my live shows planned. Oh, my gosh. Wednesday, I think, is my next one. So I might be able to do one on uh, Monday. Yeah, I don't think I have another one scheduled just yet. Um, and I could do that one for the sellers. <laughs> I don't know if they have a timeline right now, to be honest with you. I think it's just a huge project. Androids are notoriously difficult to program on, which is why most apps come out for iPhone before they come out for Androids. But yeah, they are working on it. They're taking it very seriously. Um, not right now. You can't save a seller. Uh, you can find your seller just by going to, whoops, going to listings and filtering by seller. And that's how you can find, look at all, look at all the sellers we have. So many, so many. And that's how you can find, um, oh, look, there's me. We'll look at mine. That's how you can find your seller again. So, But they are working on a way to save a seller. It's just not an option right now. Yes, yes, spin it. The seller can see that their item was liked, but we can't see who liked it. I'm not going to be able to show, show it to you on that. Um, but yeah, it comes in our notifications that someone liked your listing. Uh, I got one earlier. Someone liked this. I don't know who liked it. I don't know. It doesn't tell us that, which is fine. Uh, I don't know about the earliest one. 
Um, I know that this one is, an, this is an iPad 7, and then this is an iPad 10. So it's working on the 7, iPad 7, so which is several years old. How to make an offer? Sure, yeah, let's make an offer. All right. Um, so I have a pair. I don't, I don't put offers on anything that's under $20, but I do have other things. Let me scroll down. <laughs> I have other things that are, that are more, here we go. Let's say you want my beautiful little terracotta pottery cat candle lamp and you want to make an offer. If the, if the, here's how you save it and like it. And if you want, if the seller is accepting offers, it's right down here on the bottom. Oh, goodness, what? Oh. What are you spamming the chat for, Jocelyn? <laughs> okay, so right here is an offer. I'm going to send myself an offer. And it automatically gives you some options. Do you want to just offer 5% off, 10% off, 15% off? And I don't know what it put in there. 5%, 10%. Oh, it, it automatically defaults to 10%. And then you review the offer. And, oh, well, I have to fill in my shipping address and stuff, but, um, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna go through all the way because I didn't, what, why are we so blurry? There we go. Um, so it'll, it'll show up here with your offer, the shipping, the sales tax. It's just not showing any of that for me because I didn't add my address and everything. And that's, and then you click send offer and that's it. And then you're, the seller will get the offer in their notifications. Your notifications show up right here. And the notification will say, so-and-so sent you an offer. And they are good for 24 hours. So make sure that you, um, I like to check. You can check by, I don't, uh, let's see. You can check by going to your seller dashboard and your offers and then you'll see if you have any offers as a seller okay and this is the um oh this is um, i always forget to click this this is a fast way to get to the seller dashboard you go to your if you're a seller you go to your profile you click that and there you go it's going to show you how many sales you've made how many items you've sold Wallet is what's pending coming to you. Cash out is what's ready to be transferred. You can list, you can go live, you can access your live streams, your listings, your sales, your shipments. Now shipments, when you click on it, you do have to go to the browser to um, print your labels and stuff that is coming to the app, but not quite yet. All right. The address is whatever address you put in here. So like I said, I have not added my payment information and shipping address. Whatever address I put in here is what it's going to, um, is uh, what it's gonna use to determine your shipping cost. Will you show everyone where the hashtags are for social media? I don't understand that question. <laughs> where the hashtags are for social media? Oh, the social, well, your social profiles are in your, um, oh, logos and, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Logos and graphics. This is a great one because it has, if you're a seller, here's all the graphics you can use for knickknacks. This is cute. This is if you just had something listed, you can put a picture in the black area. Here's if you just sold something, you can put a picture in that black area. And this is a nice little headline. And then here's the tags. <laughs> I just hadn't seen it yet. So <laughs> I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. There are the tags you use on social media. The reason to use these tags is to boost not only how many people see your social media post, but that then people can search for that. And it gets the word out about knickknacks also. 
All right. Does anybody else have any questions? I will do the um, one for the sellers within the next few days. You would have to use something like Canva or Vista Create, some kind of an uh, image uh, graphic um, editing program. Yes, if you if you share something to like Instagram, you can use those hashtags definitely. All right, look, we have new chat, and then oh, they're talking about the earthquake. Oh goodness, I hope everybody's fine and and nobody really lost anything besides some shaken up glass. Yes, the app is super easy to use. And if you ever get confused, you can always come back to this again, or you can ask for help in any of the chats. If you're a buyer, you can ask in this knickknacks chat. If you're a seller, there is the seller's chat. Yes, definitely. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Yes, you can list from the browser. You can do everything from the browser except go live. And as a matter of fact, you can print labels from the browser and you can't do that from the app. So actually, technically, you can, it's kind of even. <laughs> it's trade off. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody. This was really great. Magic comments. Definitely. I will go over magic comments on my next show. I'm hoping Monday. And it'll be about the same time. I have, I want to check and see when other people are going live because I don't want to do it when another seller is live. All right. Yeah, it's there for you to watch. All right. Thank you so much, guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And make sure you check out our great sellers. Is there anybody else live right now? If there is, I will rate into them. There's nobody else live right now. I thought um, Aprilene was live, but... That might have been a test or something. Yeah, it's too bad. But come back at 1.30 because Drunk Susie's going to be here. And at 2.30, we have Faded Love Vintage. At 3 o'clock, we have Franklin Hill Ventures. And then at 4.30, we have our very own Crazy Lamp Lady Jocelyn. At 6 o'clock, there is My Petite Vintage. At 7.30 is Janet Loves to Shop. At 8 o'clock is Pixie Sticks. And then tomorrow, we start the Glass Menagerie Train, which is going to be great if you love, love, love. Um if you love glass. Oh, that was an accident. Okay. So thank you everybody for joining in. Please let me know in the knickknacks chat or the sellers chat. If you have any questions, or if you're confused, or you can uh, look back at this, at this live show anytime you want to. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.